right. There's no point in drawing us out any longer than necessary. For the past several months, I've heard nothing but complaints from the Raw superstars and fans about the way Eric Bischoff has vacated damn near every title on Raw. So, Eric, I'm giving you a chance to come on out to this very ring right now and explain your actions. remind you that you stand on dangerous ground here tonight so what do you have to say for yourself well mr. McMahon as everyone knows I used to be in charge of WCW the most dominant force in the sports entertainment industry what was it 88 weeks in a row that we beat this very show in the ratings 88 straight weeks yeah and we all know how that turned out. I used to be the undisputed king of sports entertainment. I take exception to that. And now look at me. I became nothing more than a lackey. Under the thumb of the WWE Board of Directors and the almighty Vince McMahon. Well, I'm sick of it. I've been sick of it for a long time. And about six months ago, I decided to do something about it. I was approached by someone who promised me enough financial backing to raise a new sports entertainment empire that would rival the mighty WWE. In exchange for his support, all I had to do was handicap Raw in any way I could, while at the same time, lend my genius to this new venture of yours. Genius? So I stripped the Raw superstars of their titles and put them in the most grueling matches conceivable. And all the while, my partner was making deals and targeting the WWE for a hostile takeover. Now you're probably wondering why I've chosen to reveal this master plan tonight. Well, quite frankly, it's so close to fruition that not even the great Vince McMahon can stop us now. So it is my great pleasure to introduce you to my partner. He is a true titan of business and sports entertainment. Save it! It's JBL, right? What? John Bradshaw Layfield, the WWE Champion. That's your partner, am I right? Mr. McMahon's one step ahead of Bishop. You see, I've known about your pathetic little scheme for a month, Eric. Did you seriously think you could just start vacating Raw titles without me taking an interest in why you were doing it? I think Mr. McMahon may be miles ahead of Bischoff. I've already contacted SmackDown General Manager Theodore Long, and although JBL doesn't even know it yet, this titan of business and sports entertainment, as you call him, has been stripped of his WWE title and fired from SmackDown. I know JBL's on his way here, and I also knew you two had planned some dramatic unveiling for your so-called master plan. Well, JBL's gonna get a bit more drama than he bargained for when he arrives here tonight. You see, I've got someone waiting for JBL in the parking lot. The man who won an opportunity to challenge Triple H for the World Heavyweight title at WrestleMania. Raw's number one contender is going to meet JBL in the parking lot? What does that mean, JR? I don't think he's there to roll out the red carpet, King. I thought it might be a good warm-up for Raw's title contender to take on a world champion before WrestleMania. So when JBL shows up here tonight, he's going to find himself in a parking lot brawl. And by my watch, JBL should be arriving right about... Now you, you you can't be serious. You you can't do this to me. I'm Eric Bischoff. I, I, I'm the general manager of Raw. I, I, I'm the only man to take on Vince McMahon and, and win. 
Eric, in case you haven't figured it out by now, the only thing you are is your fire. And not a minute too soon. Thank you, Mr. McBee. But that's not all. There's going to be a parking lot brawl between JBL and Raw's number one contender. JBL may be a true titan of business, but he's about to find out what happens when he sticks his 10-gallon head into Raw's business. And there isn't a damn thing Bischoff can do about it anymore.
He also took out John Bradshaw Layfield last week in that parking lot brawl. JBL was plotting with Eric Bischoff to undermine Brawl, and they both got what was coming to them. I won't shed a tear for either of them, JR. But what's Raw going to do now that our general manager has been fired? Last week, on behalf of all the Raw superstars, I taught SmackDown a lesson about what happens when you try to mess with the dominant brand of sports entertainment. And Vince McMahon gave me his personal assurance that there will be no more interference from SmackDown until after WrestleMania. Which is just how I want it. I've shed blood, sweat, and tears to get where I am today. The World Heavyweight title is the crown jewel of our business. And it brings out the best in every superstar that comes near it. Eric Bischoff could never understand that. And that's the one reason why he is the ex-general manager of Raw. Amen to that! disagree with this joker about damn near everything. So I'm as shocked as anyone else to realize that we're on the same page this time. This is the crown jewel of our business. This is the ultimate prize. It's the last thing on every superstar's mind when they go to sleep at night and the first thing on their mind when they wake up. I have to admit he's right, King. If the World Heavyweight title isn't on your mind, you're in the wrong business. And the single ultimate reason this title means so much is because it's around the waist of me. The game. Every loser in the back thinks that if he can wear this title, he might one day be good enough to be mentioned in the same breath as Triple H. Imagine that, JR. Who wouldn't want to be mentioned alongside an all-time great like Triple H? Oh, please. But listen to me very carefully. This title is a part of me, and I am a part of it. Without the title, my life has no meaning. Without me, this title is just a belt. Yeah. You may have your opportunity against me at WrestleMania, but you'll never beat me for this title. You'll never take away that part of me, so take a good look now, because this is the closest you will ever come to it as long as I'm around. And why? Because I'm that damn Good. Oh my gosh! Triple H just knocked him out cold! What a noble champion. I tell you what, Triple H makes me sick. He just won the title, and I already can't wait to see somebody take it away from him, damn it! We've only been without a general manager for a week, and already Raw is turning into a madhouse! There's a hurricane coming through. <laughs> well, look who it is. 
It's the great green tomato. What's up, kid? Now listen up, you dastardly villains. The hurricane is here to bring you to justice and truth, honor, and integrity to the World Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> oh, yeah? And how are you gonna do that, exactly? By relieving you of that title, of course. With justice on my side, and my her powers at my disposal, an evildoer like you doesn't stand a chance. Kid's got a lot of heart. Yeah, but it's not pumping any blood to his brain. <laughs> Hold on a second. You want a world heavyweight title match? You. Against me. <laughs> For this? Man, I, I, I don't think I'm ready to take on a superhero tonight. At least not by myself. Tell you what. How about you and your sidekick there take on me and Ric Flair? Right here, right now. Surely you are familiar with the concept of a superhero team-up, Citizen Contender. For one night only, I will take you on as my her sidekick and join forces with you to defeat Triple H's evil schemes. The battle is joined. He's taken every advantage in this matchup and it looks like he plans on taking a few more. If he's not the dirtiest player in the game, JR, he's a shoe in for second place. That went nowhere. This match has the potential to be... And there's the submission. There might not be any way out of it. There'd better be, but we're going to see a tap out right here. You know, JR, when I saw this match on paper, I wasn't too sure about it. But it's turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I'm not at all surprised, King. I knew this was going to be a terrific matchup. Oh, come on, JR. You're just talking through your hat. And speaking of hats, when are you going to get rid of that silly thing anyway? Right about the time you stop wearing that. And now a pin! This could be what? it! Oh, for the love of... Open your eyes, Red! I can't believe he got away with that! Well, you might not like it, JR, but he's going to do whatever it takes to win this one. He's obviously not feeling too threatened, JR. Then maybe he's not smart enough to realize how dangerous his opponent really is. These superstars are going to tear each other apart. That's exactly what the fans paid to see, King. And they're not going to go home disappointed. These fans can't stand it when he does this, JR. But I think it's great. He's sure not going to win over any fans with that move. But I don't think that bothers him too much, quite frankly. He's tagged in his partner. Rick, looks like a tag to me. You know, JR, I racked my brains trying to think of a single flaw in Triple H, and I couldn't come up with anything. It's like he says. He really is the only diamond in this business. Oh boy, this is not going to be an easy hole to escape from. It sure isn't, JR. I've been on the wrong end of that one many times. If Hurricane's supposed to be some sort of superhero, then how did he get his powers? By getting dropped on his head one too many times? I He's not going to get caught with that one. who you want to win this matchup, JR, but it's been pretty obvious since the start of the show who you're pulling for. I'm trying to remain as objective as I can, King. Quite frankly, I'd rather see a good competitive matchup 
to see a particular superstar win or lose this thing. Oh, come on. Everyone knows you play favorites. You're always trying to kiss up to the fans by talking up whoever they're cheering for. I've never been a kiss up in my life, King, which is more than I can say for some people. I call them like I see them, and I'm flattered that the WWE fans agree with me as often as they do. I don't know how much more of this I can stand to listen to, JR. You know what the difference between you and I-95 is? You can turn off I-95. Did you see that? Ring the damn bell! You can't let somebody get away with that! I don't think the ref saw it, JR! And if the ref doesn't see it, it's not illegal. Look at this! Look at this! You talk about a house of fire, you're seeing it right here! Yeah? Well, somebody better put out that fire, or this one's not gonna end well. Yes! That was an incredible move! What strategy? Strategy my Oklahoma ass. That's cheating, plain and simple. You've got to love Ric Flair. The Nature Boy doesn't let... A textbook reversal there. Did you ever think you'd be watching these superstars compete against each other here tonight, JR? I had a feeling their paths were going to cross sooner or later. And I'm glad I'm here to see it. Me too. It almost makes it worth having to sit next to you and listen to those corny expressions of yours. What the heck is a government mule anyway? It's what you get beat like when you're in the middle of a slobber knot. And if you don't have the guts to stick around, you might run like a scalded dog with a case of the limber tape. All right, all right, enough! I'm getting a translator before I have to come out here with you again. What a counter! I don't think there's going to be anything left of these superstars by the time they're done. Run on your back with your shoulders on the mat is no place to be. Here's what the fans came to see. Oh my gosh! The Batista! He shook the entire arena with that one! See, JR, this is exactly why Raw is the number one brand in all of sports entertainment. You're absolutely right, King. We've got the best superstar, the best fan, and the best announced team. Don't forget that. I was going to say that until you interrupted me. Now I'm just hoping I haven't lost Taz's phone number. I think the best is yet to come in this match, JR. I agree with you 100%. Whenever you put abilities of this caliber in a match together, it just gets better and better. for a finisher. What a reversal. It's always a treat. Oh no, what's he gonna do here? The Batista bomb. My God, what an impact. His opponent telegraphed that one. There's the pin! One, two, three. This capacity cut, and there it is! That's the match! Here are your winners, Batista! And the...